What's up guys, Eterno here and today I'm playing Varus with his newest skin called Snowmoon Varus and I'm playing him on the mid lane against Zed. Also testing new items and Tinsel's Rageblade as a mythic item seems like the best option for him. I'll be playing him on hit and there are like three ways to play him. But first let's take a look at the recall. I believe he's one of his best skins and you can let me know in the comments what you think. Alright, so if I'm playing on hit, I wanna max E first for the slow. You can also play him with Lethality, which has Q max, and full AP, which maxes W. Alright. This trade is worth. Is clear. W second. Because when you have stacks applied with basic attack, you can consume with other abilities and you deal additional damage that way. Just let me ward because if Maokai knocks me down, I then I'll be dead from Zed's passive. It's only important not to get electrocute from Zed on his combo, because then it really hurts. To lose. I'm playing little tempo, and since I won't be building mana items, I have to take Prince of Might and Mana Flow Band. That should give enough mana. Oh, this is good. Or oh, this is bad. You burn. Ah, I think not to do that, and he still did. Oh, he avoided my Q, but still worth it. There's no one to chase me down because Yone is dead, right? Maybe I can push this fast enough. And the longer you hold Q, the better the damage is. Alright, let's back and it should be enough for Rage Knife. Yeah, it is. Look, this grants hybrid pen, which is really great for champions like Varus, doing both physical and magic damage. Okay, let's deal with this wave. Also, he applies healing reduction. Not a big difference against that, he's not a healing champ. But actually, he's playing with Conqueror, so it matters, yeah. Okay, listen is probably dead. Wow, he survived. I do what I must. Okay. He 
he was still level 5. Face That's why I came back. An ally has been slain. Could be getting attack speed boost now. Or let's get the Ginzels faster. It's absolutely right to max Q as well if you want. But the sound hit build is more close range, as you probably noticed. Now against assassins, you should keep your ult bed most of the times. Like I kept to save myself from that last time. Cause else he would just finish me off with his basic attack on the passive, even without ult. Alright, no combo. Could have maybe ulted at WQ. Maybe it would be that he didn't have the range to ult. Only cowards flee their fate. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Double kill. Alright, I had my Empowered W ready on the Q. It deals increased missing health damage. That's why you should never W active on max HP target. My work is not done. Your team has destroyed a turret. There is no salvation. That's still got me actually. The enemy has been slain. I've been wondering if I should flash. Because I wasn't sure where he started his ult and it actually reached me even after flash, so good thing I did. Now he's hoping he would find me there. Nope. Made sure to recover in proper place. But this might be a double kill for that if he decided to roam, because look at this HP. Yeah. Just one item and I can already feel the difference. Wow, the damage. Might actually finish him off. Yes. If you wonder why I have more attack speed, except for the fact that there is Ginza, it's thanks to the passive, where you gain it when just last hitting, and on champion takedowns the bonus of attack speed is even greater. Destroyed 
turret. So much pressure. Yes. Okay, happens. Oh. Alright, we've got this. We'll be doing Drake, but I guess after. I can tell that Varus is in a really good spot right now, especially after these changes. This item is just made for him. There is no salvation. Unstoppable. Your team has destroyed a turret. Slain. She almost did it. So that's the new icon of Static Ship, by the way. Ah, uh, just one hit. I shouldn't go back there. He didn't even ult. There's no one to defend this. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. An enemy has been slain. You have slain an enemy. Double kill. Yeah, let's build this new item. Um, 
for. Alright, they didn't even kill her. And they surrendered. Hey guys, I realized that I wasn't recording the second game. And it was actually interesting. And our bot lane is really behind. I also tried to help and we died. And I decided to play really aggressively against Kale. I knew I had to play aggro and just pressure hard. So I decided to stick to mid lane and just pressure all the time like this. To the point where Kyle is not even able to stay on the lane. And actually here is a minimap of course. And this game really looked like FF. Because also top lane is behind. Here I almost killed Kale with Q, but they didn't have enough time to charge it for longer distance. But what matters is that Kale had to back. And I have decided to just back here in a safe place. I just have to keep scaling. Kale also scales, but look, I still have this advantage just going in aggressively at her outing. She's not expecting this, because previously on the lane I just farmed, poking her from time to time, but now that I have this item and boots, I knew that I can, that I could play much more aggressively like this. And that's a turret. Meanwhile, Sana is six kills ahead. And Alistar is coming. Here I shouldn't actually approach him like this. Because maybe I would survive. So it was kind of troll, but there's must three. He has three kills now, so at least the jungler is doing well now too. I can tell you that in the game he was extremely toxic. We just won't see the shot there. And he died. And I have my Ginsos completed. And I keep pressuring Kale, just like before. The interesting fact is that even if I damaged, actually applied the ability on Kale's ult, the W still kept being untouched. So I guess it triggers on damage and not on ability landed. I wonder if it's supposed to be like that? Or is it how the game works? Anyway, look how fast I took the second turret. I just had the first one, one death and just this. Here Caitlyn is just baiting me. She's even flashing like this. Total disrespect because they're so ahead. So they just think they gonna stomp us. Alright, we actually continue pressuring them. It's actually a bad place to stay when not being ahead. So we just backed. And surprise Alistar. I just know that I have to farm and keep scaling, maybe split push a lot. But I actually have to stay on the mid lane because they pressured. Also, Master Yi was fighting them like this. I guess he got caught. I'm just trying to catch someone. Actually got Senna. But she had the flash. I've got Caitlyn but not enough healing. 
just yet. And now I found an opportunity to farm a bit. I got Kraken Slayer now. Just doing walks and gonna split push. Here to answer the split push, Odin from the spot where she had no vision. And actually, here she went really just comfortable. Quite confident that I would die here, but nope. I did the combo fast and actually outplayed her. Which is huge. We had equal level, right? And yeah, Mastery did something good on the top lane, I pressure bot. Would be a waste of time being mid now. But they pressure hard, as you can see. And I kind of just had to back up. And I kind of knew I would not save this inhibitor, so I had rather pressure no one backed, and it's because Hale was coming back from base. But it's okay, I just farmed more. One inhibitor down. I just wouldn't save it and I have to keep getting experience. Because Varus is really item dependent and at the same time he snowballs hard. And here Kale overextended, I have my W with Q ready and just sniped. I already knew she was going for the plant, so just aimed there. We are still behind in gold, but the gold difference was greater I believe before. Wow, he actually didn't save him. <laughs> I didn't notice that in the game, because I was just splitting. And here, actually, if I knew about the outcome of this, I would go on the river through and help him, but I just didn't know it would happen here, not here, Well, I would be too far away. I'm just going without vision. For the drake that I do, it will be doing. I still have barrier, and I've got this. And not gonna do this drake because they're just chasing me. I have E maxed, so I can apply a strong slow. Just enough for Yasuo. Now my stats looking better, and the gold difference decreased. They don't pressure us hard and they're not doing Baron for now, although it seems like they would soon. There's one more thing, as you can see, we have no vision. Like two wards here and nothing there, just minions providing vision. I thought he would maybe catch Caitlyn. I actually think in my allies to do Baron now because at this point it would be quite fast with Varus. So it would be better to at least trap. They had vision there. They still do actually. 
Thanks to the scuttler. And if they stay like this, they just invite enemies to engage on them, which is bad. Because it's a coin flip and they're still ahead. So I just had to answer this and follow up. At first I didn't want to join this because it was a pretty bad team fight, but now I'm just trying to save it. Try to help Master E. I have insane passive attack speed. And actually killed them thanks to Shieldbow. It's crazy that you can build Kraken and Shieldbow at once now. Especially with Ginso, so nice itemization. Having open gates to take this inhibitor, just pushing. I have some time, 8 seconds for Caitlyn. And yeah, they're just coming back from base. And I'm out, they're actually chasing me. Trying quite hard. It's AP Alistar, interesting. Okay, it got me with the range and out. Nice try. Yeah, I'm trying to kite him. I am low on HP. Actually used barrier because I expected something like Senna's Q or Caitlyn's Q, but didn't happen. Cut out for disengage and nearly got Yasuo V. If that E applied, he will be dead. So yeah, I just have to back like this, and it seems like they're doing Baron because we could see Senna, unless they're clearing vision and that's it. So Caitlyn pushing. She has strong items now. And they're still having that gold lead. I'm trying to be around Baron so that they wouldn't start it. And we just have to stick together. I let him engage at me intentionally, though I didn't expect that much damage because wow. But he flashed, and I kept ultimate for something better, so I didn't wanna ult. Though if I ulted he would be dead. Here I just wanted to heal, and I found an idea to just hide in bush and wait. Somehow I thought Alistar would just face check, hoping that I would be recalling there, so I gave him a word from Hack. And he disappeared. Also trying to help him about too far away. But I could still help because Master Yi is coming. So but one look at the attack speed got two. And now we can do Baron. These W stacks we really help against Baron. But missing half damage too. And that's our comeback. We finally have the gold lead. This game looked like GG before and now you see this, we took Baron. Our inhibitor is here again. We also got the Drake. The game is still not done yet, but I have full build, and that seems like the best one for Varus currently. Though, instead of this I could have gone for Static Shift and that would be great. I just thought I'd benefit from Wits and Tail would hit level 16, which it didn't yet. Also, Wits and Grunt's movement speed. 
helps for sticking to the targets and just applying these fast totals. I got Caitlyn, been expecting Alistar to engage, so just in proper position to make a good team fight. Also, some a good scout, and that's it, yeah. Nothing she can do now. Mastery did a nice comeback too. So that's it guys, I hope that you enjoyed this, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what do you think about the gameplay and the skin. I personally like it. And if you enjoyed it, you can like and subscribe. See you next time.